guys. All right, it's a new day and it's a new video. This time I want to talk to you about frame flex. This term has been floating around the RV industry as of late. And so I wanted to share my experience uh, that we've had with our personal rig that is behind me and what, ha what happened, when it has happened, and then also gonna share along the journey of getting it repaired. So behind me is our 2023 Keystone Fusion 427 triple axle toy hauler. Now we say toy hauler, but for us, it's our kid hauler. So we've been all over. We've driven this thing, or not driven it, but we've towed this thing over 6,000 miles, uh, estimated based on what the truck is saying. But a year ago, we experienced the frame flex crack. And so let me show you where it reared its ugly head and what I've done since then. All right, so along the, this would be the driver's side or in as an RV inspector, we would consider this the street side. So you enter on the opposite side, this is the street side. So we've got the wet bay, the electrical bay along the side. So we have a, well, I guess they consider it an east to west bedroom slide. This is our master bedroom up here. And this is where the crack has happened crack here started in this corner and it has slowly expanded so it's probably now a good four inches in length or so um, and started off probably about an inch and now it's gotten bigger as we've towed the RV. I first noticed this crack a year ago in April. Now why have I waited a whole year to get it fixed? Because Looking online, the one place that is consistently repairing these RVs with frame flex is Affinity RV Group in Goshen, Indiana. So I'm like, if I'm taking mine anywhere, it's going to be up to Affinity RV Group in Goshen, Indiana. It sucks because it's about a thousand miles to drive up from um, Florida to get it fixed. But I'm like, I want it fixed right. I want it fixed the first time. And being full timers, they're very understanding with us being full timers and that they're going to get it fixed fast. Um, I think the estimate is about two weeks. So with that said, I called the Finity RV group last April and said, hey, I've got frame flex. I need to get it fixed. They said, yeah, we can get you in. And I think uh, when I called in April last year, they're like, they're so booked up because they're, they're so well known for this fix that it was like, yeah, we can get you in in January. I'm like, I'm not driving up to Goshen, Indiana in January. The snow with the RV, no thank you. The salt on the road, no thank you. I'm not gonna deal with that. I said, I'll bring it up end of April. But I asked both Keystone RV, I talked to their customer service, and I talked to Finity RV Group, and I talked to actually the dealership behind me where I bought it from, and all three told me, it's okay, it's fine, you can keep towing it, uh, it will be, it, it, you're fine to keep using it until then. Now obviously the crack has gotten bigger as we've towed it, but I've tried to keep some sealant on it to try to keep the water out. A side effect to this frame flex has been along this crack here, this joint. So this is the bottom of the slide out and um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of white in there and I've got a bit of a gap between the bottom of the sidewall and the top of this rail. So I've had about a quarter of an inch or so of flex that's evidence on both sides of the fifth wheel front here so on this side you can see it so the bottom of the wall is here the trim is here so I know this looks this looks I know it looks horrendous it looks terrible the um, the silicone there but the issue is is the first several times probably two or three times I took it off I made it look pretty and then I put the silicone back so it look all pretty and then we go and you tow it and then the moment you tow it it, it it compresses it and then it expands it and then every time then you got to take it off and put it back take it off put it back I'm like this is just ridiculous I'm just gonna slap it on there try to keep the water out um, and then once they fix it it'll look pretty now ever since we got here you've noticed some of the silicone is already coming off needs to be redone but we're going to take it tomorrow to affinity rv group so that is where we are at with frame flex on our 2023 keystone fusion 427 we love the rv we really haven't had issues that's the biggest issue 
the other thing we'll find out is when the frame flex, when this crack happened, we were towing the RV using a B&W fifth wheel companion hitch. I wanted to use a hitch in the beginning because I'm like, if I use the correct hitch, I won't have to worry about frame flex. Um, don't have less of an issue with, or less chance of it happening because using an official hitch that they support. Well, after it happened, I'm like, well, I'm gonna switch back to my pull right super light hitch because this hitch rides a lot nicer um, and it's also a lot easier with our truck. So I've been told Keystone or Affinity or whoever, it shouldn't be an issue, but we'll update you on that and see what they say. So as I've alluded to already, uh, tomorrow we take the RV to Affinity RV Group. They're about 20 minutes away from where we're today. And I've been told two weeks, um, shouldn't be more than two weeks, but we'll see what happens. Once I know more and the RV has been repaired, I'll come out with an update or add an update to this video of what exactly all that was, was done, how it was fixed and what it looks like after the fact. So we are having to get a little U-Haul to move out for a few weeks. Um, but hey, such is life. I just pray that the RV is going to get fixed better than it was before and we can continue putting on many miles with this RV. Um, there'll probably be an update after this or an update video. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can tell behind me, we got our RV back. Well, we picked it up uh, about three weeks ago from Affinity RV and it's better than ever. So let me give you a little walk around, show you what the repairs look like. And then also I do have some photos I'll add into the video and talk about them a little bit in terms of what actually Affinity did. Um, so you can see behind the skin of what the repair looked like and why I think Affinity is doing the best job in the industry for fixing these flame flex and why it's worth driving whatever distance you have to, to get to Affinity RV Group. So let's get into what was done. All right, so one of the questions that I posed out there at the end of the last segment I recorded when we were before we dropped it off was, we have a non-standard fifth wheel hitch. This is a pull right 2600 single point attachment that is just wonderful, we do like it. But the question was, will Keystone give us hassle for having a non-standard hitch? Now, as I previously mentioned, when we had the frame flex first happen, we were using a B&W companion hitch. Um, but ever since the crack came up, I switched back to this because I just like it that much better. I'm happy to report that Keystone did not give us any hassle or any warranty claim issues because we were using a non-standard fifth wheel hitch. So, and I think it's, you know, kind of obvious with the number of frame flex uh, cases that are out there that are happening with such a variety of hitches is clearly not a hitch issue. So let's, let me show you now the sidewalls on what the repair looks like. So if you remember before, this side here was sagging about a quarter of an inch or so on this side where you could actually see the bottom of the sidewall that is now fixed. Um, so what, a, what Affinity said they discovered is this was one of the first times they seen on the, what we would consider the curbside sidewall of that frame flex issue happening. So the stud that comes down here and then the stud here, that stud was broken along the bottom. And so this was actually hanging down, which is why we saw that issue on this side. Um, so what they did, and I don't have a post repair picture from them, but what he told me is they did is the, the vertical stud that they have that's in here is, first of all, they added wood to the bottom and then they added a lashing, welded a lashing to the vertical stud that wraps around the bottom. And then they also did some screws and other stuff. So basically to reinforce this stud to this stud um, is what they did. But I do have a picture I'll show you of what it looked like, the, the stud, the, the weld that broke on this side. So I'll put that up here in a second. And now let's go to the other side, which is where the main damage was. All right. so. This is the street side of our RV. And as you can tell, it's fixed. There's no more ugly silicone down here. No longer seeing the, the bottom of the sidewall. So what I'm gonna try to do is explain this, show you here, but then I'm gonna try to, in the post editing, add in the pictures of what the repair looks like behind the screen. So bear with me, hopefully this comes out good. So 
our crack was about four inches right about here. So obviously that crack is gone and there's now an expansion joint here of, of where they had to, to cut this part of the panel. So this part of the sidewall, this entire piece is actually brand spanking new. Uh, so they had to put the graphics there and everything. So the reason why they take this off and the reason why you need to take this off is because the welds up here are broken, which is why they end up hanging down because of the flex in the frame, those welds break, and then we get the, the, the issues that we were seeing. So what Affinity does is on the, the, the studs here, they actually put in gussets. Uh, they weld along gussets along the bottom, but also they'll uh, add gussets to the top of the studs that are in here. So that's adding a lot of structural uh, rigidity to the frame. But they go a step further. The one by ones of aluminum that are in here, they're hollow aluminum. So what they do is they fill, they shove a piece of wood inside of those aluminums, those one by one square tubing, and they add a block of wood on top of it as well. So once those are full of wood, they have a block, they drive like five or six inch long leg bolts from the bottom up. So you're, you're basically, you're sandwiching all of this together to make it very, very strong, which is awesome. But they take it a step further than that, is they put an adhesive bond on the side, and then they put a metal plate on this side here. And then they, they I think they screw it to the wood. So now you're adding also, uh, basically you're making the whole sidewall one. It's very rigid, very structural. So that is what they did. And obviously, they, like I said, they had to replace the sidewall. We've got their expansion joint. It looks good. It looks great. It looks professional. Very happy with um, Affinity RV Group. One of the things that they did while they were in there that I had seen in some other people's videos was while they take the front cap off, we all know a lot of these RV manufacturers, they don't put anywhere enough insulation in these front caps. So I asked them, hey, while that cap's off, would you mind throwing a little extra insulation in there? And actually, they said yes. Um, had to pay a little bit for that service. It wasn't much at all, but it was mainly just paying for the material because labor was already there. But my hope is now with some extra added insulation, it's going to help out in the summer with the heat coming in from there, just trying to keep some of that heat out of the RV. And even in the winter, keeping the, the heat inside and keeping the cold out. So I'm very happy they did that. So Rod and his crew at Affinity RV Group are top notch. We showed up to pick our RV. He's like, before you pick it up, I just want you to go through it. Make sure everything is to your, to your liking, you're satisfied. And there was actually a, there were actually a few very minor uh, service issues that I needed to have done on the RV. And they actually, at that point, they took care of them very quickly for me. Um, there was one safety issue that needed to be taken care of. Um, so very good guys there at Affinity RV Group. Highly recommend their service. Um, as I stated already many times, uh, they're great, but they book up fast. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, my details will be down below. Have a blessed day.